So today in queer teacher things, they asked my roommate was a boy or a girl, and I said neither. And they were like, no, Miss Brown, it, are they a boy or a girl? I was like, my friend, they're neither. They were like, well, do they have a boy name or a girl name? And I said, neither. And they said, well, do they wear boy clothes or girl clothes? And I said, well, what are boy clothes and girl clothes? And they go, you know. And they said, well, that doesn't make any sense. And I said, it doesn't have to make sense. And then they walked away because they got mad at me. <laughs> Second grade teacher, God help us all, delighting in confusing her students about gender. This is the left ramps up their attempts to push the LGBTQ, ABCD, EFG agenda on our kids. Take this weekend's wildly inappropriate Drag Your Kids to Pride event in Dallas, Texas at a gay bar there. Then there's this performance forced on minors in Iowa's Ankeny High School. Joining me now is Daily Caller reporter and Newsmax contributor Chrissy Clark. Also with us is founder of SFP Consulting and former Congressional Communications Director and political consultant Micah Bach. Uh, welcome to you both. Chrissy, I want to begin with you. The second grade teacher's student said she wasn't making any sense. They showed more knowledge than their second grade teacher. Isn't a teacher supposed to be, I don't know, teaching our kids and not intentionally and gleefully confusing them? The, that is exactly the word, gleefully confusing them. That is exactly what these teachers are doing right now. And that's because what's happening in the you know, higher education zeitgeist of this is anybody can be anything and non-binary and non-gender conforming can mean X, Y, Z different things. But those are conversations that are critical race theory adjacent and leftists argue constantly that these are arguments that are only made in college courses. Yet here you have a perfect example of critical race theory, gender ideology, making its way into a second grade classroom, confusing children and parents in this classroom, wherever has this teacher, has every right to be incredibly angry at the fact that this is being pushed on their kids in the most ridiculous way. Answer the question, is your roommate a boy or a girl? Or you just try to stop the conversation instead of prodding these little kids with your weird obsession of gender. Yeah, it, it, it is. I, I, I can tell you're getting a little angry at it, and you should be. And we come, Micah, we come out of, out of government into the private sector, Pizza Hut. They have a reading program there at Pizza Hut. It's come under fire for promoting a book about a, a child drag queen. The book is called Big Wig, stars a male child who loves to dress up in drag. Uh, the, the funny thing, I don't recall anyone but left-wing crazy people asking businesses in America to push the cross-dressing agenda. Customers are rightly angry at this. I mean, and, and they should be, right? Oh, absolutely, Chris. And I think you have a fundamental issue with the fabric of our culture and the fabric of our society when organizations that, you know, are designed to provide a good or a service are being weaponized for social and cultural battles. And that's exactly what you're seeing here with Pizza Hut. It's an organization that, you know, used to promote reading programs for children to promote literacy in the United States. And now is being turned into a weapon of the left to turn your children against the values and the issues that you are attempting to raise and promulgate in them in the home. So Pizza Hut's attempting to weaponize their process of educating children in order to take parental capabilities out of the hands of parents. Yeah, and it's really not the best pizza in the world that I've ever had either. Uh, Chrissy, on Sunday, three pro-abortion activists interrupted celebrity pastor Joel Olstein's church service by taking off their clothes and shouting, my body, my choice, and overturn Roe, hell no. Let me just ask you, just, <laughs> look at this, look at your screen. Does this convince anybody? No, this is abhorrent. There are times and place for, uh, you know, your free speech and your weird naked protests to take place. And they're uh, in front of the Supreme Court. Go protest in front of the Supreme Court all you want. And clearly nobody in the Biden Justice Department is going to stop you from protesting outside of Supreme Court justices' houses either. Plenty of options for you to go, you know, go there. There are church communities everywhere. Who is to say that all of Joel's, Joel, Joel Olstein's uh, followers are pro are pro life. I mean, there's there's no record to show that. To interrupt someone's Sunday service is so much more fundamental to just abortion rights. It's about upending anything that has to do with heteronormality in any way that we've seen in America. And this yeah. is absolutely disgusting. Well, it's disgusting. 
You know, all, all you freaks out there that want to take off your clothes, you know, go to the Biden White House. I hear they, they kind of like that kind of thing.